Today we are doing a powder blue spring makeup look. So let's get started. All right, everyone. So I am starting out with a fresh face. Okay, we have our brows done, honey. Our foundation is on. And we are going in with Laura Mercier um, concealer. So we're doing the conceal under the eyes. And I have pretty dark circles. Well, I don't really have dark circles. I just have a lot of lines. So I'm going in with my Beauty Blender, a little bit damp. And I am going to go ahead and really buff all that out so we can make it real cute and sexy. Okay, and I'm doing all the areas, honey, my nose, my chin, and underneath my eyes. And as I'm tapping this in, you can see that I'm being very gentle. We're being cute with this. We are not going to go in destroying. We are trying to really blend this in. Next, I'm going in with the HD Flawless Absolute New York um, Powder in Banana. That is an e.l.f. I think it's actually supposed to be like a blush brush, but I use it as really something to bake with because it's like the perfect size to get right under my eyes and get in the middle of my nose. And I'm putting this on heavily, honey. We are baking, okay? We don't want not enough flour, so it's sticking to the pan, honey. We need this to bake to be cute and flawless. So we're going in on the nose. And all this is doing is, really I have oily skin, so I'm going in my oily areas, and I'm also going in the areas that I want to make sure don't crease. Um, like I said, I have a lot of crease under my eyes, and I get oily. So we are going to make sure that we're not going to be oily up in the streets or in a house, because you know we're in a house, and we want it to be cute. Next, I'm going in with the P. Louise um, base, and this is in O2. I believe. And what I'm going to do is I am going to take the Sonia Kashuk brush and I am going to make like a foundation to put on my eye shadow. So while this is baking, we are going to get prepped and ready for the eye shadow to go on flawlessly. We want all the color. As you can see, I'm brown skin baby girl, shea butter baby. And we're doing a powder blue look. So this is going to mean that we need to make sure all these colors come out so they can shine bright like a diamond as much as possible. So what we're doing when we blend this in, we wanna blend and snap, okay? So we want this to be a nice, even coat, not anything too crazy because we're gonna have to come back with this to make sure that the color really pops through. So this is a nice, even blend of a base color for our eyes. Now we are going in, ooh, I love this. So this is the Fenty Beauty Mocha Mommy Bronzer. We are taking this um, Sonia Kashuk brush. This is like a little bigger, fluffier brush. And we are going to kind of define, warm up our crease. So we're gonna take our time with this. Um, we added this base that is a little bit lighter than our skin tone. And we are coming in and we're warming things up. Okay, we're warming things up. Not too much, not too little. But we just want to get a nice first coat of warmth on here because we're brown, baby. We wanna warm it up, it's hot outside. So next we're taking this fluffy brush and we are going in with this color from the Huda Beauty palette. This is like a nice, like a warm, deeper mauve color. And we are going to go over those same lines that we just warmed up with the Fenty Beauty bronzer. And I know it's kind of odd using a bronzer for the eyes, but it works so seamlessly. And as you can see, this is just warming up so nicely. It's nice, it's even, it's a little subtle, and it's just what we need to really get the eyes started. And as you can see, although this is sped up, um, I'm taking my time with this. We're going slow, we're going steady, and we're really building the color up to where we want. Next, we're taking another fluffy brush and we're going in with this Slay palette from Revolution Beauty. And we're going in with that deep brown mauve color. And we're really just building once again. Like when it comes to you really getting that flawless cut crease type of look, it really just goes into buildable colors that complement each other. 
And that's all we're doing. So we are just going to build, 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 little by little, bit by bit. And we're just going to keep doing that until we like it. As you can see, I'm doing soft windshield wiper motions. Next, we are coming back in with the P. Louise base. And what we're doing is we are carving out our lid. Um, and so this is, so when we bring that hot powder blue onto our lid, it's going to catch, honey. It's going to catch like you're catching fish in the deep sea. All right. So we want to make sure that this base is nice. This is going to be thicker than our first foundational base. And this is going to really allow this color to pop through. This is the NYX Ultimate Brights. Um, palette and we're taking that powder blue and we are going to town we're going to work and we are going to continuously pat that on um, one thing I'll mention depending on your eye shape you may want to go with more of an almond shape when it comes to your lid I went kind of straight because I have creases in on my eyelid and um, if I'm trying to do it too quick it will actually like go back onto the top of my eye the color will so we are carving out this lid once again on the other eye and we're going in with a nice thick batch of that foundational or that base color which is the P Louise in 02 we are going in and we're going in strong and we're going to once again take that powder blue from the NYX palette with a flat brush and we, there we go, there's our powder blue, and we are going to go ahead and pat that on. And we're taking our time. We're not in a rush. We're taking our time. If you're in a rush, this might not be, you know, <laughs> maybe you don't need all these colors, baby. But we're not in a rush. We want to get all the color payoff that we possibly can. And this is how we're going to do it, by really taking our time and pushing this color in. Yes, now we're getting to the liner. This is an L.A color liner okay i'm so surprised by this color payoff we are going in under our eye on that bottom line and we are just pushing the color through honey we are pushing it through and this liner is so great um i can't even remember where i got it but it's literally incredible and i know it is a great price we are now going in with the l'oreal voluminous eyelash primer so this is a primer that we're putting on. We're going to let that sit and we're going to take this Revolution Cosmetics um, Cream Concealer in a darker color to use as my contour. So I'm going in with this stipple brush from e.l.f. and we are blending it out. As you can see, we're blending it for our lives, okay? <laughs> now, in real life, this is a lot slower, but it really looks like we blend it for our life, honey. And we are really taking our time and we are doing paintbrush-like motions. We don't wanna be too harsh, okay? I know it might look like I'm going harsh, but as you can see, it's not. So and now I'm taking this little like spoon, slim brush thing and I'm doing my nose um one trick for your nose is the thinner the line the thinner the nose do you want no surgery or you want to come out looking muddy we want surgery so we going cute now I'm coming in with the Laura Mercier um eyelash mascara okay and this is in the blackest black this is new to me I like it it's a little wet for me I'm not gonna lie but I do like it it separates the lash really well so we're going to go ahead and pair that with that primer that we put on earlier now we're going in with my wet and wild blush for the gods as you can see this blush has been through everything I'm taking this Sonia Kashuk blush brush and we are blushing it up and you know look at look at us what come on flawless yes you better do a little smile, girl. And I did go ahead and do um, my eyeliner off camera. Now we're going in with Pineapple Sun Strobing Bronzer from Too Faced with this fan brush from Sonia Kashuk. Y'all, I love this bronzer. It smells like pineapples. It's from the Tutti Fruity Collection from Too Faced. It was on sale and it makes me smile inside my heart. So I love using it and it's so natural. Like, I've been so addicted to this type of, you see? Ooh, it smells so good. I've been so addicted to this type of highlighter lately. Like, it's my go-to right now. So we'll see if it lasts for the summer. But it has been really everything for me for the spring. So we're going in. We're strobing, baby. 
we're strobing and we're done we added lashes and we are complete thank you all so much for watching remember to like and subscribe to my channel and i'll see you guys next time